Um, Austin Ashburn for LA Magazine. Hey, y'all. Congrats on the show. Um, I just watched the first couple episodes and y'all do a fabulous job. I love seeing like this new generation of incredible actors. Um, I first just wanted to ask like, how exciting or nerve wracking was it getting to work with each other on a franchise that is just so like big and beloved by the whole world? (laughs) It was not so great, you know? (laughs) (laughs) Working with each other specifically? um, Not not, the best part. Not great, not perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Besides that, it was really good. I promise you, it was fun. No, it was all fun. Um, it was nerve wracking for all of us a bit. Um, I think so, yeah, we're all a little bit nervous, but um, there's so many people cheering us on and and uh, supporting us. So I think that was that was. I mean, it kind of canceled it out, you know. The crew made yeah. a lot. They were very sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off, but yeah, support mm-hmm. is key. You know, I feel that. Um, and then I guess along with this question, what was the process like for all three of you with kind of trying to stay true to these iconic characters while also trying to like make these characters your own at the same time? Well, I think, um, well, our acting coach, Andrew, uh, we, during the first two months of prep after we got to Vancouver, he gave us these massive binders. It was mm-hmm. like the first day we met him. Turns out he had done hours and hours of research, scouring the books and all of the mythos and like the myths behind our characters. So he gave like Walker this huge binder filled with mm-hmm. uh, myths about Poseidon and how he like rose to power and how he got his tiles as like Earthshaker and same for uh, same for uh, Leah with Athena and yeah. getting though just having that like like trove of information that was definitely. Mm-hmm really helpful very helpful in these yeah. first couple of uh, months oh sorry no, no keep going go ahead apologies. um he also actually um uh he he gave me this um athena it was a picture of athena and the picture it was you know it wasn't she wasn't the same skin tone as me and i was like you know she doesn't really look like me though and he took all night like he he, he told me he didn't go to sleep till 3 a.m and i thank you for that like he is such a great person the best. and he came he back is. and it was a picture of a uh african-american athena it was a black athena she looked so powerful and then he was like he was like i found something for you and he actually put it as the the picture of my binder like mm-hmm. he like put it inside the little folder thing and um i looked at it and i was like that's me I was like that's my that's my mother and stuff and it was just amazing how he took the time to really find that really good photo though but he's like he's like a great person though and that's what really kind of got me into this the power movement of trying to be anime mm-hmm. oh my gosh i love that love this top by the way too the red is so cute um, <laughs> um but speaking of like having these you know mythological parents i also wanted to ask you know if you were to be in camp half blood kind of just as yourself, and you had the option to choose your parent, um, which like god or goddess would you personally choose for yourself? Oh, like which one would we pick? Not like which one would actually be our... Yeah. (laughs) I think at Camp Athlon, Poseidon would be uh, pretty fun because there's an ocean right next to it. Yeah, that's a good point. But anywhere else, I think I'd pick Zeus so I could fly. You know, control (laughs) the winds. Real. I think... I think I would pick Pan, honestly, just being able to like, well, one, talk to animals and like control, again, at Camp Half-Blood, this huge forest is so much like, mm-hmm. especially like during Capture the Flag, that would definitely come in handy. I'm sorry, what was the question again? I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, if you were to like choose your own parent, um, like if you had the opportunity, who would you pick as your god or goddess parent? I always say the same, but I might change it again. I feel like it would either be Athena, Zeus, or actually Aphrodite. Mm-hmm. Good choices, good choices, guys. Aphrodite's um, speaking might be nice. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. That would be cool. Like Piper. <laughs> mm-hmm. Love it. Oh, my God, we love Piper, our favorite in the, the um, sequel. But um, thank you so much for chatting me today, guys. I'm sending nothing but positive energy your way and can't wait for everyone to see this show in just a week from now. Thank, thank you. you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.